Hey, Vortex Garage here again. Just a really quick update video. Just got done talking a little bit about our Mountaineer and the transmission work that we're doing on it. But I figured I'd grab the camera, spend about five minutes, and give you a little bit of updates on some things that we're working. So you can probably see behind me, our Spitfire looks very similar to as it did last time. And that's just a basic component of some of the other work we've got going on, like the Mountaineer. Uh, some basic repairs we've had to do with other vehicles, maintenance, and just work and life in general. So the good news is with the uh, Triumph, we do have the location that's gonna do the sandblasting or the stripping on it. And uh, we're gonna set up an appointment and have that pulled down and, and taken care of. The whole idea is uh, basically as the winter approaches, I wanna get the, uh, you know, all the vehicles ready for the winter, do all the winterization we need to, but get the Spitfire body prepped so that over the winter, we can basically focus on doing the body work, metal repair, anything that's needed on that, and maybe even start building up our other chassis there. So. That is progressing, it, it hasn't made a lot of headway, but we do have plans to move that forward. We just got other things going on. So another thing we got going on, uh, we've been trying to post a little more on social media. So you can check us out on Instagram at Vortex Garage. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, basically as we do uh, little jobs here and there, I'll be posting pictures up. Uh, also just some general photography stuff. So if that interests you, car stuff, nature, dogs. We got Chop Dog, Dog Sharky featured a lot. So check us out on there, follow us. We'll be able to keep you updated on things that we're working on. Another thing we're doing, let me flip the camera around. All right, so another thing that you might be able to see back there, we've got our other camera and uh, some of the ratchets that we use. We're basically taking some photos so that we can do some tool reviews on our blog. That's right, we've got a blog set up now, so you can check that out if you go to vortex-garage.com, and I'll put a uh, link on the video here. Um, but basically, on our blog, we're going to be doing some write-ups of jobs that we're doing. We'll be able to post some project updates, maybe talk a little bit about, you know, tools and, and, and wrenching in general, and also some tool reviews. So the cool thing about our tool reviews, at least for right now, everything that we have here in the shop, we've gone out and bought on our own. None of it's been provided. So if we write a tool review on something, you're gonna get our 100% honest opinion on whether or not we like it because we've definitely got tools in here that we've bought that just suck, they're just no good. And we'll let you know about that. We'll kind of give you a warning. But I've got other tools that I really like and it doesn't mean that they're the best thing to get or that they're the proper tool that you should buy, but we'll share our honest opinions of how they've worked for us. And the thing that you'll find is a lot of tool reviews, the tools are perfectly shiny, they're just out of the box. Maybe they use them a little bit and they see. But these tools, let's take a look at this. So these are some of the ratchets that we use on our videos, these gear wrench ones. And as you can see, these things have got a quite bit of use in them. These are probably about two years old at this point. And uh, you know, we've put them through the ringer. We've used them on some pretty tough stuff. We've used them on a lot of jobs. So our opinion is gonna be based on doing a lot of work and seeing how these tools have held up for a year or two. Um, some tools we've had many, many years and we can share some experience on those. So I think that's kind of cool. It's something different rather than just a review of a tool that we got in the mail by, from a company. They expect us to say great things about it and uh, we never really put it through any real world use. And yeah, maybe one day we'll be in a situation where we can give you some opinions on some new stuff as well. But for the time being, we've got a lot of things around here that we can share with you. And I, I think it's unique because we've really put these tools to use. And uh, it's not just a, hey, we, we got this and, and used it for five minutes and here's how it felt. This is, how is it held up? Because in tool, the tool world, that's what counts. You might have something that feels great and works for 20 minutes, but then snaps in your hand when you start putting it to hard use. So we'll share our experiences with some of the stuff that we have. So again, you can check out our blog, vortex-garage.com. Check us out on Instagram, where we'll be posting a lot of photography and car work pictures. And then of course, Facebook, don't really post a lot on there, but we'll start putting some more things out. Just follow us at Vortex Garage. So anyway, we appreciate you tuning into our YouTube stuff as well, and we look forward to posting more videos and hope you enjoy them. Until next time, we'll see you soon.